right now we're outside as part of that same visitor center experience, that spine of the plant. We're sitting what's outside right now, but eventually be enclosed. And we're looking over the part of the plant where the snow melt is going to come from. You know, this is where it's all going to originate from. Uh, down here, down low, you see these concrete piers that are sitting up. Those are going to house the condenser. The condenser takes all the steam out of the steam turbine and condenses it back to water again. Well, when it does that, a lot of the heat from the process was rejected. A lot of power plants would just take and throw that, weight, that heat away. And we're capturing that, just as we did with our old power plant. We're capturing that heat, and we're going to send it downtown uh, in, the in the pipes that are going under the streets and sidewalks for snow melt. So our condenser, which isn't here yet, but will be coming soon, will sit on those piers, and it's the main source. But not the only source, in case the unit is offline, we want to have some backup as well. And so under the tarp that's sitting over here, we actually have uh, an auxiliary boiler. That auxiliary boiler is there, provides that backup for snow melt. It also provides some of the steam that we need for different processes here at the plant from time to time. So it serves a couple different functions. The snow melt pumps will actually sit on pedestals that are behind the auxiliary boiler. And uh, so that's where it's all gonna come from. And uh, pretty excited to be able to expand the capacity of the snow melt. We can actually do about five times what the existing James Young plant did.